Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're with Cleveland Golf today in Mission Viejo, California. We're out testing, checking out new RTX 4 wedges. Brian Schelke's with me. Brian, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, Chris. We just talked a little bit about the wedge, some of the technology, but we wanted to get more into the sole grind because it's so important for players to pick the right wedge to suit their game, both in terms of the way they swing the club, the types of shots they want to hit, and the course conditions where they play. This is a better player tour inspired wedge. As such, you've got four really unique sole grinds. We wanted to take our audience through each one, sort of explain kind of what the difference is. Yeah, we have four sole grinds in the RTX 4, and all of them are on the spectrum of from mid to lower bounce. There aren't really any high bounce wedges. We do offer both CBX and Smart Sole, which have a little bit more bounce, but these are all very tour driven um, sole grinds with you know moderate to lower bounce on them. Yeah, and as far as each one goes, the, the low and the mid bounce are the ones that you say are going to sort of fit the widest kind of array of players and sort of one dot, two dot, kind of maybe what Cleveland yeah. fans have been used to. Yeah, so we have the mid is our two dot wedge and it's a refinement of the RTX 3 midsole. It has that V shape um, and really what that does is it helps on full shots. It help, it, there's a little bit more bounce and leading edge to help you get through the turf quicker and have it feel better. But then also there's a ground away trailing edge. So when you open the face around the greens, you can kind of slide the ball under it and the leading edge doesn't get too high. So the two dot mid bounce is best um, for people who want a good all around wedge. They want really good full shot performance along with a blend of versatility around the greens and it's offered in 46 through 60 degrees, so it's offered in the most lofts. Okay. The one dot or low bounce is a C-shaped grind. It's offered in 56 through 64, so it's offered in all of our higher lofted wedges. And it's really, it works well on full shots, but it really excels around the green. So it's our most popular tour grind um, in, in tour guys' lob wedges because you can open the face, really keep the leading edge low, and execute a lot of different shots around the green. Yeah, and with the lower bounce, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's going to also benefit a guy who's maybe a little more shallow, plays on firmer conditions. Yeah, especially if, if you don't notice yourself ever digging and, you know, if anything, the club bounces off the ground a little bit, you definitely want to be a lower bounce wedge. So shallow swing, firm course conditions. Yeah. And then there's two new grinds as well, which are sort of what you maybe described as specialty grinds. Take us through those two. Yeah, so kind of going with the shallow and firm, fast conditions, we have a new X-Low sole grind. So it has just three degrees of bounce, which is the lowest bounce wedge we've made. And it's for golfers who really, really like to open the face an extreme amount, hit almost exclusively with an open face around the green, play for really firm, fast conditions. And it's definitely not for everyone, but for golfers who need that really low bounce, there's nothing better than the X-Low wedge for them. And then our fourth sole grind is the full sole grind. And so this still has just nine or 10 degrees of bounce, depending on which loft it has. So it's a mid bounce wedge. Um, but the difference with the full sole is that when you open the face, it adds a lot of bounce in a hurry. So it, it plays mid bounce when you have a square face, but as you open the face, it plays a little bit more like a higher bounce wedge. So it's really good for golfers who like to hit down and feel the bounce as you go through the turf. And it really excels out of softer conditions, softer sand, deeper rough, and anyone who kind of needs just that little bit extra lift um, through the turf. Yeah, and that's great information because if you're somebody and you're out trying to work on your short game and you have a wedge that doesn't really fit what you're trying to do, it's going to make things more complicated. If you can take Brian's advice, figure out based on what he had to say, which one of these wedges, which one of these grinds is going to work for you. Get some new RTX 4 wedges. We'll take your old wedges in on trade, help you start playing better golf, scoring better from 125 yards and in. Brian, great stuff. Cool. We appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. Thank you.